Hey everyone, I'm Dragon with you. So today we have a hide event, and uh, actually it's about quests. This time we don't have a special story, only bundle, and that's where you can hide this. So, Snake Charmer is an event actually. And what we have is getting more quests done, results into more resources, which you can get at the shop. So as usual, my preferences are not things about hiding, but artifacts. So I really need some artifacts, and especially I would recommend the parts which are just 200 parts, or just orange parts. So they have a reasonable price. You don't overpay for collecting some parts in gold. So I would really recommend you, instead of getting a full artifact, just concentrate on parts you need. So, for example, Lamora's card, Enigma Chronicles, etc. So, if you add some stuff, you see that you have extra value for violet artifacts, you have extra value for gold, probably, and that's how you collect a complex artifact. So, I would really recommend you to focus on simple artifacts because it's just cheaper. So, now let me tell which quests I can get and uh, where we stop. So I don't plan to get VIP points now anyway, right? So let's just do the quests and see what happens. Okay. So spend an thousand, that's pretty realistic. I can afford that. Orange about Heidi, no thanks. Evolution for Heidi, not yet, I guess. Artifact is possible. Yeah, I can afford artifacts. And I can afford hero skin, but probably not today. So I will keep doing this later for cheapest skins possible. And artifacts, we have pretty same situation. So I go to the bottom, get somebody with just lowest possible level, and just strike it as hard as I can. So that's pretty easy. And that's how I can collect some of those stuff. Okay. So anyway, while you get those rewards, the farther you go, the more you get. And uh, in the end, uh, people say you can easily get to 800 without serious spending. So that means at the shop, you are probably required to get some red artifacts, maybe some orange artifacts, if you want. That's about events. So now about Heidi. Well, I don't play Heidi, but I saw some teams which have reasonable ideas about Heidi. And what I want to highlight, so we have dodge chance about this character. So he can't dodge control effects, and he becomes fully visible after being damaged. But if he isn't damaged, he has camouflage, so he has a huge buff into dodge and gets bonus energy. Also, he deals pure damage, which means his pure damage goes through defenses, except maybe on Barbie, and that means that works. So I saw some replays where people said, okay, physical doesn't work, magical can't work, so we play high D and we ignore all the defenses. So maybe you play Heidi and that's a great event for you now. Anyway, if we go to Arena, so I used only two attacks today, right? So let's check Arena. Do you have any Heidi teams? I don't think they are popular on my server. So we prefer Iris teams now. But anyway, Heidi is kind of a powerful character. So I can't share my own experience playing Heidi because, as you can see, on my server he isn't popular at all. We prefer other options. But at the same time, I know a team which is top 14 at Clash of Worlds ranking. Yeah, so top 30, zero Heidi, as you can see, so we can afford playing without him. But anyway, if you want to understand the power of ID teams, then you can go to Pleasure Worlds leaderboard and check the team number 14. So Spank the monkey. There we have several people who have serious 
improvement of ID teams. You can see that even from their avatars. So kind of many tidies in this guild. And if you plan to develop tidy, then maybe some of those guys can offer you some nice things. Okay, so thank you for watching. See you in my next videos and good luck to you.